my hand right now is a seven foot tournament stick using a quantum spinning reel. You know, I just love the sound of water, especially when my lure splashes down. It's really great. Now, the reason why I have this particular outfit in my hand is because this is the most easiest tool to use when it comes to casting. Later on, we'll get into the bait caster, which is a little bit harder, but we're gonna start with this because I know you'll get the idea right away. Okay, now we're gonna get started with the casting technique. And with this reel, what we wanna do is, we wanna have it in the right position. And first of all, you wanna have the bell arm in the up position. So the line is where you can take your index finger and place it right here on the line. After that, you wanna pull the bell down and your finger is gonna act like a trigger. And when you get ready to cast, you wanna be in a, about a 10 o'clock position when you get ready to cast. Earlier, I talked about the 10 o'clock position. Now this is your 10 o'clock, or 11 o'clock position. As you see my right hand, that's where my pole is being facing, that 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock position to get ready to cast. But first, before we cast, we need to make sure our feet are in the right position. As I said earlier, when it comes to casting, your feet must be in the right position. Being right-handed or left-handed, depending on which foot is your lead foot. Being that I'm a right-handed caster, my left foot, as you can see here, is gonna be my lead foot. And what you wanna do is make sure it's straight in the direction that you wanna cast your lure or bait. Now that I got the right position, I got my feet in position where I'm gonna cast, I got my points in the clock, and I brought my bell down, I'm ready to cast. And as you can see, Trying to go as straight ahead as possible in the same spot. As you see, I'm on my favorite part of Lake Echo Bay, which is Lake Mead, just on the other side of the marina. Now we're going to see if we can catch some fish today, either some bass or even some stripers. And as you can see, I'm using one of my favorite rods and reels. There's my spinning rod and my spinning reel. Now let's see what we can catch today. Hey y'all, why don't you come with me and let's catch some big fish. Let's get started. <laughs> 